Adam here on The Bearded Prophet, talking to you about the differences between Christianity and Islam. One of the key differences, perhaps the most key difference in many ways, is that my God talks to me. Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 27, My sheep know me, and they hear my voice. They will not follow another, but they will follow me. This is a profound difference. The God of the Bible, the God of the New Testament, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, talks to us who are following him and who are in relationship with him. No other God is really like this. It would be rare or uncommon in other religions to hear God's voice and have him speak personally to you and communicate to you. But this, my friends, is a daily reality for those who are true Christians, who know the Lord Jesus Christ and are following him. It actually says in the Bible, he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. When you confess the Lord Jesus Christ as your God and as your Savior and give your whole heart and your life to him, he actually comes in your spirit man. We are body, soul, and spirit. Your spirit man is actually joined to the Lord, is washed clean, made fully righteous, and is joined to the Lord. And this is an amazing reality. Now, of course, we're still in a physical body, and we still have our soul, which very often wants to do wrong things. And that's the battle that we all live in. Our spirit man, as a Christian, is made fully righteous, is joined with God, and wants to do the right thing. But our body and our soul are still not yet fully redeemed. And so our soul may say, ah, do the wrong thing today, sin, do bad stuff. And your spirit's saying, no, do the right thing. You know, this is who you really are. And your body says, ah, I just feel lazy. I don't care. Do whatever you want. That's the beauty of the fight that we're in. But this is such a profound difference, my friends. You can have a relationship with God. You can know him from the inside out. You can hear his voice. The Lord talks to me. It's rarely audible, but, it, but thoughts come into my head that I know aren't from me or completely out of the blue. Or he reminds me of scripture and verses in the Bible, or I just sometimes will just feel a peace about going a certain way and ill ease about going another. It's not simply mysticism. It's actually a relationship. I know who's talking to me. And the more I know the Lord, the more I hear his voice. My friends, this is actually good news. This is hope for you. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, whether you're a Muslim or a Hindu or just not religious, or maybe you grew up in just dead Christian, Christian religion, dead Christianity, where it was just a bunch of rules, that's not the heart of God. And I want to offer to you today the chance to get to know the Lord and begin to hear his voice. You can even ask him, Lord God, I want to know you. I want to hear your voice. I want to walk with you. Jesus, show me the way. Uh, he, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And if you come to me, uh, you will get to the Father, which is what we're all seeking. And so, my friends, you can start that conversation today. You can begin to talk to the Lord and say you want to know him, you want to hear his voice, and, and ask in Jesus' name. That's where the power is. So, my friends, God bless you. Begin to press into that today. Uh, this is the best life ever. God bless you. Mm -hmm.